Hey, welcome everybody. Today we're gonna rip open some WCW Topps Chrome 1999. We're hoping to pull an auto out of there. Now, where should I rip these packs open? Huh, well this is a good spot. Hulk Hogan's Beach Shop. I believe I heard Kevin Nash once say, it's better to ask for forgiveness than permission. So let's go inside. Let's see if NWO was in the house. Follow me, this should be fun. We're here at Hulk Hogan's Beach Shop. I'm here with Savannah Thorne. So you've been working here how long now? Uh, so just after WrestleMania, so about four and a half months now. Okay, so, so, so by really day, new. so by day you do the Hulk Hogan's Beach Shop, and by night? By night, I'm a pro wrestler. I train over with Devon Dudley at his school, Devon Dudley Academy. It's here in Winter Park in Florida. So. Nice, okay. Absolutely. Very cool, and how long you been doing that? Um, I've been wrestling for about eight and a half years now. Yeah. So I started out in Utah. Okay. Started wrestling there. I met Devon backstage at a WWE event. He yeah. said, "Well, why don't you just move out to Florida and train with me?" Very like, cool. Well, okay, absolutely. The Dudley. If this is what I want to do, then I'm gonna make that move. Yeah, very cool. Okay, so I mean, do you have a finisher already? Like, once you're getting ready to finish them off, do you have a finishing move? Ah, uh, yes, I have a few finishers. Okay. So one is a spinning fisherman that I do. Okay, nice. Um, and then the other one's called a widowmaker, where I get them up here and then I slam them down to the ground. Yeah. So okay. when did your love for pro wrestling start that you wanted to do this as a career? You know, I. So I had a best friend who lived next door to me who always used to watch it. And mm. then one day I'm like, okay, I'll watch it with you. Yeah. And he just got me liking it. And we actually used to wrestle out in the front yard too. I used to come out and pretend that I was Lita because Lita was the yeah. reason for me really wanting to do this. Okay. I loved her growing up. 
I thought that it was cool that she got in there with the guys trying yeah, to do, but right. it was really the one that did she was it an for innovator. Me. Yeah, exactly. like I said, Lita, like I said, with the with the uh, with the Hardy Boys. So. Uh huh. I used to love the Hardy that's Boys. That's so cool. That's I thought so I was cool. going to be the fourth member of Team yeah. Extreme at a young age. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, very cool. And a little I twelve year old in there with them. Yeah. I see you got the Hulk Hogan shirt. Are you a big Hulk Hogan fan? Oh, of course. Of course, I right? Can't work here and not be a Hulk Hogan right. fan. Absolutely. Now, what is your favorite Hulk Hogan moment? Um, I'll tell you mine. Like I said, I know. 1987 at the Pontiac Silverdome and 93,000 fans in attendance. Hulk Hogan versus Andre the Giant, seven foot five, 500 pounds. Yes. He was 15 years undefeated, and then Hogan picked Picks him up, up and slams body him slams right him down. down. The slam hurled, heard, heard around, around the, world. the world. That's true. That's Absolutely. true. Yeah. That's true. I mean, yeah. A huge guy, and that is such an iconic moment for yeah. Hogan too. And Hulk Hogan likes it. People likes it from my generation. I mean, he just wasn't the biggest star in pro wrestling. He was the biggest star of the world of, the, of sports. Oh, absolutely. In the eighties, he yeah. was the guy. Do you think about it? Like in nineteen eighty eight, he had, the big win against Andre was huge, right? Oh, of course. But in nineteen eighty eight, at the Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards, Hulk Hogan not only did yes. he take out Walter Payton's sweetness. But he took out Air Jordan, Michael Jordan. He took home the honors for best male athlete that year. Okay, yeah, absolutely. That's pretty cool. Being I, yeah. Michael Jordan. I mean, yeah. Michael Jordan was not a lot of guys. Too. Not a lot of guys were beating Michael Jordan in 1988. Oh, yeah. Hulkster no. did it. The immortal one did that. Absolutely. So, yeah. So, you know, so he cool. Out yeah. For that, of course. Yeah. So hey, thanks for taking time. Where can we follow you on Instagram? Uh, Savannah T underscore eight four three on Instagram. Savannah Thorne on Facebook and Savannah T underscore eight four three on Twitter. So cool. Hey, thank you so much for taking the time and showing us around and giving us access to the, to the building here. So cool. Like I said, hey, thanks to everybody. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned. We're going to do some stuff. We're going to do a bot. We're going to do a pack rip. I got a couple of packs. I'm going to see okay. if I can find a Hulk Hogan autograph or yes. who knows what superstar. So uh -huh. join me in Check that. Check it out. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you so much. You bet. All right. We got these two packs. We're going to see if we can pull an auto out of here. So let's see. We're going to put one on the Hulk Hogan black, one on the Hulk Hogan red. So. Let's go with the big sexy. All right, here we go. We got anything? We got something chrome. So we got Rick Steiner. Look at that. We got a Hollywood Hulk Hogan chrome card. Look at that. Pretty cool. And then we got Canyon. Alex Wright. Damien, La Parca, and then we got another Canyon card, and another Alex Wright card. Okay. All right, here we go. I'm going to do this one now. We got Bill Goldberg on the cover of it. All right, here we go. We got Ming, Rey Mysterio. Eric Bischoff, Buff Bagwell, Brian Adams, Stevie Ray, Horace Hogan, and the bad guy, Scott Hall. So no auto. However, personal collection, I do have an autograph card. Let me get that out. Who do we got? Who do you guys think it is? Autograph. Any guesses? Bam, here we go. Kimberly, Nitro Girl, Diamond Cutter. Very cool. Okay, that's cool. Hey, we had to step outside for a little bit. We did pick up some merch, but bonus, we're gonna do a giveaway. So, what do you gotta do to be qualified for this giveaway? You gotta be subscribed and you gotta comment below to what I'm gonna ask right now. What is my Mount Rushmore of professional wrestlers? So that's gonna be four guys. So who's in my top four? So comment below, let me know who your top four because if they match mine, one of these gifts will be yours. Now let's see what the prizes are. I picked up a little variety. So of course, we got the red and yellow Hulk Hogan brother. We got this in size large for youth so that's one of the possibilities we also got John Cena this is also a youth 
size small. So that's that. So for these bigger, older wrestling fans, we picked up, uh-huh, the Macho Man. Randy Savage, this is in an adult large. We also got a Hogan's Beach Shop shirt, size large. There's the eighth wonder of the world, Mean Gene Okerlund, and the man, Hulkster himself, Hogan's Beach Shop. That's a cool shirt. And of course, couldn't leave the shop without getting a hot rod, Roddy Piper, this size, extra large. So hopefully I pulled the right sizes. Good luck. What are my top, or who's in my Mount Rushmore? That's the top four wrestlers. Who, am I gonna, who are my four guys? I'll give you guys a hint. He's gonna be on that list. So that's a free square, everybody. Hey, let's go back inside. Still a ton of stuff to look around. Follow me. episode so much fun thank you so much for letting us look around so till next time hell have no fury like savannah thorn and from the top of our hearts thanks for watching